Hello again, 21st day, first video. Uh, you, you might be able to hear the rain hitting a piece of tin out, uh, outside. It's, it's raining. Uh, I broke a hole through the wall because I'm going to uh, build a, uh, a chimney. And Anyway, I only tell you about this because you probably hear that. It strikes me as kind of funny that I'm retired and now here I am in a barn out in the rain. Uh, I, you, they talk about putting somebody out the pasture. Well, that's kind of what's happened in a way. All right, uh, on we go here. Uh, an apology, first of all. Uh, I had a devil of a time uploading the video yesterday. I don't know what's going on with the internet. This is way out in the country here. Uh, we have slow internet, and if it had not been for the help of my dear friend, Shirley, I'm not sure how I would have got it done. She's in Germ I, I upload stuff. I send it to Germany, and in Germany she can put it on YouTube. Uh, she's been so helpful. All right, but we got to get on. Uh, apology about that. Camel. I should have mentioned that. When I was talking about the domestication of animals, I forget camel because they're not a big part of this world. But they're huge in, in other parts of the world. I mean, what a major so entire culture built around that animal, a uh, camel. Also, pig. Uh, pigs. I want to say something else about pigs. Um, apparently, uh, recently learned this, and it may or may not be true, but there's a very interesting book that's come out recently called uh, 1491, uh, dealing with what were the Americas like before Columbus got here. And one of the things it's saying is that disease, the Europeans brought disease, well, I think that's clear, it just swept through the New World, uh, uh, decimated the population. Uh, it's one of the reasons that the Incas and, and the Aztecs were not better able to, to fight against the invading Europeans. Well, I think one of the reasons that uh, they were susceptible was because they did not live with their animals, especially pigs. In, uh, in the Middle Ages in Europe, uh, humans shared the same roof with their livestock, and pigs were one of them. And uh, the disease, I want to say it was... Uh, smallpox, but I, I'm not sure if that's what the disease was. Uh, but it, it, it was pretty significant. All right, I got to get on. Uh, domestication of plants. All right, and now you could say ibid. You might just use ibid instead of writing domestication again. Ibid, if you put it there. Ibid of plants. Same as above. Uh, all right, in the old world. So I'm separating them again. Cotton maybe should have gone down lower, but I forgot to put it in here, so I'm going to just stick it in here. Enormously important plant. Cotton. I mean, cotton, cotton. Uh, it's um, it's clothing the world now. Uh, so very important plant. The grass family, though, is the one that I think is the most important of all. The humans, humans without the grass family, you see, it's almost unthinkable. Uh, uh, botanists group plants by families according to how the flowers are, etc. Uh, and the grass family, most people don't even think of these necessarily as grass. If you only think of grass as what you go out there and have to mow, well, what you're mowing in your yard, uh, some of that's grass, but a lot of it's sedge, there's fescue, there's clover, there's all kinds of plants there. Uh, so when I say grass, I'm speaking like a botanist. Uh, well, the grass family has given us barley, and I'm trying to go in sort of chronological order. Barley, I think, was even before wheat. Uh, and it gave us uh, bread and also gave us beer. There is some people, I've heard it argued, that beer may be older than bread. Interesting. They're, they're similar in some ways, uh, both involving yeast. Uh, wheat, uh, enormously important. In the American diet, wheat is the most important food. These are grasses. Rice is a grass. Uh, it uh, is feeding more people worldwide, I think, than any other plant. Oats is a grass, rye is a grass, these are food plants. Bamboo is a grass. It, it's, a, it's not used for food. Well, bamboo shoots are tasty, but uh, it's, uh, it's used to build things. The grass family is enormously important to humans. Uh, when I was walking through the meadow, there wasn't very much grass there. A lot of what I was walking through was sedge. There might have been a little bit of grass, but it's the reason why basing the civilization on this uh, uh, ecology would be pretty rough. Uh, legumes, this is another family. Legumes, and I don't mean to say these are all necessarily old world, but legumes are the bean family. 
uh, beans, peas, peanuts, alfalfa is in the bean family, and so is clover. So is a locust tree. Uh, in the second video of today, I want to talk a little bit more about botany, uh, but I'm going a little faster. You get to the New World, and there are some very, very important plants. Corn, uh, maize is what is called a lot of places, maize. But corn, uh, uh, it comes from the New World. Uh, Sugarcane, I think it comes from the New World. It's in the grass, both of these are in the grass family. Uh, and uh, chocolate, pretty, pretty important to a lot of people. Uh, I'd like you to imagine, well, as we go on, I'd like you to imagine what your diet would be like, what your world would be like if we did not have the input of these plants that were domesticated in the New World. Uh, life without corn, life without sugar cane. I mean, the sweetener in the Middle Ages was honey or sugar beets. Uh, there wasn't, and I'm not so sure that's been altogether good. Uh, and the nightshade family. Now, the nightshade family is actually uh, uh, has got a lot of poisons in it. Nightshade growing around here is poisonous. Uh, but in that family, we've got the potato and the tomato and tobacco. Imagine uh, how important the potato has been. It, it shaped Ireland's history. It's the reason why part of Boston is Irish because of the success of the potato and then the potato famine. Tomato, imagine Italian cuisine without the tomato. Well, these weren't known until the New World was, was found. And then tobacco, that's the reason Virginia was really founded, to make tobacco. That is the drug that has killed more people worldwide than any other drug. I, I always like to point that out. I mean, drugs like heroin, marijuana, they're, they're known for being illegal drugs. But there is the killer. Uh, so popular. And then uh, the reason I have belladonna here is because it's in the nightshade family. It's a poison as well. But belladonna is Italian <clears throat> or Spanish for beautiful woman. Uh, I think there should be two ends there. Uh, yeah, there should. Anyway, uh, women put it in their eyes before they would go out at night because it made the uh, pupil enlarged. Uh, and uh, a lot of people think women with big dark eyes are beautiful. Bella is beautiful, Donna is, is, is lady. Uh, and uh, that's what uh, an, uh, an eye doctor uses still to put in your eyes, I think, uh, to enlarge the uh, pupil so that he can see inside the eyes. Uh, I've gone kind of fast, uh, but I, I, I have another video that, that I want to present today in which I'll, I'll take a little bit more time. Domestication of plants. All of this is part of what brings us up to civilization. Before the week's over, we should be civilized. I'll see you again today, I hope.